Hello, whiskey lovers, and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. I'm in Burgoyen, a nature's preserve of 230 acres, which is quite big, in fact, beautiful to walk around here. But as you know, I never leave home without a good bottle of whiskey. Now, we've talked before about single malt whiskey and single grain whiskey. Now, single malt is the king of whiskey, right? It's, it's batch distilled, pot still, it's, it's very good. Yeah, and then, and then you've got, on the other hand, you've got grain whiskey, continuous still. It's maybe not so, well, maybe that's not entirely true. What I've brought today is a Cambus, and Cambus is a close distillery which was turned into a cooperage. But there is still some Cambus to be found, and I have a beautiful bottle of Cambus to share with you. And what I've brought with me is a Cambus 1991 bottled by Signatory Vintage. I'll have you know, in recent years, they have bottled no less than 23 casks of Cambus 1991 in these beautiful, but if I may say so, rather clumsy decanters. Clumsy to pour from, I mean. Anyway, as I said, Cambus Close Distillery. This is a cask strength collection released by Signatory. And this was distilled in 1991 and bottled in 2021. And this is a release from a refill sherry cask. This is bottled at 57.8% ABV. 454 bottles came out of that sherry cask. And this is the one I would like to share with you today. Right, let's give this one a go. Look at that beautiful color. And obviously, that's from the sherry cask. This is, this is nice. Clinks to the glass. That means that we're going to be uh, enjoying a full-bodied single malt. Let's find out if this is any good. The Cambus 30-year-old 1991 from Signatory at cask strength on the nose. Oh my. That is a beautiful nose. I get cafe noir cookies. I get caramel in there. I get some walnuts, some chestnuts as well, but especially dark and sweet, almost tropical fruit, in fact. A plum pie on a Saturday morning. And although the typical notes of, of, of grain are still present, and with that I mean like uh, pencil shavings, a bit, of, a bit of acetone in the background maybe, but nevertheless, the first mentioned aromas easily overcome this, making this quite a beautiful, round, sweet dark and sweet uh, single grain whiskey on the palate. Mm, the dark sweet and fruit and pastries are especially prominent on the palate now, supplemented with some, some coffee, some honey in there and... Wait, is that peat? No, that can't be peat, right? But I do get a beautiful smokiness. It seems like more than just wood smoke, actually, but... Anyway, it works perfectly. And again, the classic grain notes that, that, that ha have to give the, the thumbs up here, uh, and, and that, that's a big advantage in this case. This is dark and sweet, fruity, pastry-like, and a bit smoky. On the finish. Now that's a nice, long finish with the dark fruit now appearing a little sprinkled with some brown sugar maybe and that peaty touch that I had before becomes even more apparent. Now campus is unpeated. Could it be that this sherry cask was previously used to, you know, mature an Isla whiskey maybe? Who knows? Anyway, uh, this is a blissful grain indeed. Uh, it's among the best campus I've tried in, in well, in ever. <laughs> Beautiful canvas 1991, 30 years old from a single sherry cask by Signatory Vintage in their cask strength collection. An absolutely blissful grain. And I got this from my good friend Manny. So Manny, big shout out to you. Thank you so much, sir. Much appreciated. And that, my friends, is all for this whiskey rambling from the beautiful Burgoyen here in Ghent in my neck of the woods. And I hope to see it one of Mark's whiskey ramblings real soon. And until then, may the malt be with you. Bye-bye.